Hi, we're Married to Reselling. I'm Simon. I'm Faye. And together we are a UK reselling couple. We are off to the auction today. Um, yeah, we bought some stuff, so uh, check it out. So at the weekend, Faye went through the auction. Uh, five rooms, was it, to go through? Four. Four rooms and uh, sort of put together a list of things that she'd like to bid on and then remembered that she was going out for lunch the following morning. Uh, so left me to to bid on stuff. Now I hadn't really checked out the lot so And you I forgot was, so you missed the first few. I was kind of going a bit blind but I did bid on some stuff and also towards the end of the auction things sort of people lose interest. Um, people in the room sort of start dispersing people online uh, so I you know, had an opportunity to pick up a few other bits uh, I don't think I got I think I might have got two maybe three lots that weren't kind of on the list um, quite a lot of stuff went for way more uh, for example there was a sort of bundle of cards tarot cards oracle cards that sort of stuff and really only two or three of the packs of cards had you know any sort of value like on amazon sort of 20 quid pack um and those lots once they go over 40 quid that's 60 after fees then um you know they're, they're not profitable a uh, great little collection for someone whatever uh but in terms of reselling so a few of those went like that um but overall pretty happy with what we got i think uh, i did overbid on something i'm pretty sure it goes something that goes for good value but the solds are kind of a little bit all over the place so i'll show you that i'll show you everything uh we're going to pick it up now um we'll get it back to the pad uh, and show you what we got Hey mate, I think it's this. 3539. That's right. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers, thanks a lot. Hello. Mm. Look out.
shame, isn't it? That one. We are back and we've emptied the car. And we'll just show you uh, what we got. Total spend was two hundred and twenty-nine pound thirty-one. Now that includes the um, the hammer price, the buyer's premium, the buyer's premium VAT, the live bidding surcharge uh, for doing it online. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots. Typically, a week ago there was nothing I wanted at the auction, and I was around all day to bid. This week I had an appointment, and then I met a friend for lunch, and there's loads of things I wanted to bid on. So. Sort of left Simon in charge. Yeah, and and then not only was I bidding live, but I was just dropping a few auto bids on stuff, and I put an auto bid of the ten pounds. Yes, and there's a premium of two pound ten on that one as yeah. well. So, so I paid like twelve pound ten for these golf clubs. I didn't even really look at them, um, and I still would need to do research. My limited golf club knowledge would tell me that i haven't got any real bangers in here and this price that it went for uh would suggest so there's a tailor-made um like hybrid wood or something don't know what that is uh wilson driver a ogre something or other uh and some irons the irons are Housen and dunlop so don't and Petron, so nothing special I don't think. Um, I really didn't expect to win them, and to be honest, I really didn't want to win them. Uh, but there we go, so that was that was those. Just pop them up the back to never be seen again. I think he's lost at the back. Mm. They, they've annoyed me already, because they don't fit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we'll do this one. New Face Mini, it's a facial toning device. device. And I just, I, I had no intention of just buying this. It wasn't on phase list, uh, but I saw it was coming up and I quickly checked it on eBay. Um, and they sell, and they, they sell on eBay and they often sell with a bottle of whatever stuff, which I assume is not in here. Uh, it could be, I don't know. Um, and these can range from 100 to 200 but i think sort of average price maybe 150 ish uh and i think i really did sort of overpay um just got a bit a little bit trigger happy which does happen unfortunately when you're bidding you paid 70 pound and 50p yeah what plus no it's a hammer price of 50 pound VAT yeah. of 10 pound and then a premium including about a 10 pound 50. when you're bidding online the easiest way to calculate it because all the premiums and the vats and everything is just whatever you're bidding half it and add that on so if you're bidding 10 pounds you're going to end up paying 15. if you do that you will overestimate the price by a little bit um so on my maths that would have i would have thought i was paying about 75 because i bid 50 so half it add it on uh, but i paid just over 70 so it's a good way to do it uh, but yeah so but i mean if i get 150 for it um then we're looking at about 50 pound profit which is okay you know uh but i don't know that i will get that for it so watch this space if it comes up in a sold video soon uh, what should we do next? Should we do these four boxes here? Yeah, these four boxes are, uh, well, they contain a quantity of Denby, Denby Brown Glazed Crockery. We paid a £45 hammer price. There was no hammer VAT on it, but there was a premium including VAT. So we paid a total of £54.96. Uh, £54 so shall I show you what we've got? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, um, and we've said this before with these sort of auction pickups. If this was sitting on a charity shop shelf for what did we pay total? Fifty-four. Fifty-four pounds. I'm not sure that we'd have bought it. No. Um, but the, but the thing is, we were bidding blind. We hadn't gone to view this stuff, so we didn't really know how much stuff there was in here. Um, and it's only looking at it that I think maybe you know, maybe we wouldn't have bought it. But 
I don't know, it was on Faye's list and it, I think it was, you know, it went up quite quick and then it slowed down and I think I just did one more. Uh, but who knows, you know, this is this is the thing about the auction. Um, you've got to take, you know, sometimes you've got to take risks or you can take risks. It's not the end of the world if we just make a few quid or even if we lose a couple of quid, it's not the end of the world, but you've got, kind of got to try these things. Let's start with this one. So we've got four of these little terrine things. Sometimes they say on them what the Denby pattern's called, but this one doesn't. Um, there's four of those. Then we've got like a soup bowl. Is it a gravy jug? Because it's a pour. Oh, it might be it? a gravy, yeah. I don't really have gravy, so I'm not. Oh, does that that'll go with the, that? That'll be for that. Beautiful. Yeah, that's gravy, isn't it? Got to be. Then we've got some big stuff. So we've got this terrine, very nice condition. And it's, how do you describe this? Like the texture, which texture, you obviously can't see. Yeah. Um, it's nice. It's nice stuff. It looks like it's in great condition. The thing is, with like um, products like this, crockery sets, it's good when you've got the bigger pieces like this. It's like a baking dish, um, that terrine. And then we've also got this casserole dish with a lid. Um, Denby, made in England, 94. So these 94, Etsy would consider that as vintage. So I'll be putting those on Etsy as well. I'll cross that, in. Yeah, that matches that, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, doesn't match, the, so this is different stuff. This No, is it could suit. be, because this is what happens. So it matches the top bit, so it could well oh, be from the same yeah. range. Oh yeah, because maybe it's not big enough to have all that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And what was in that one? In here we have a little, Cream jug. Cream jug, yeah. Oh, hang on, my thing is stuck in there. Oh, you don't yeah. need it. Pepper. Don't think we've got salt. <laughs> no. Uh, another little, well, it's a cup, isn't it? It's got a handle. Oh, yeah. And some. Now, see there? I've also noticed with Denby. So these. This one's brown with a white edge. This is brown with a brown edge, and that can still be the same range. Right. Um, I've noticed that, that happens quite a lot of Denby. Yeah, so we've got pepper, no salt. Oh, yeah, no. Could be in with Yeah. And then we've got Country Fair. Oh, that's the Dem. Oh, this is, is this Denby as well? Yeah. Yeah. It's all Denby. So it's Country Fair Cotswold Sable. That's oh. in there. Ah, and it's got. What everything is. Well, I never. So that is handy. Um, oh yeah, so there's the, the three-piece cruet set. Would that be the pepper, what the pepper belongs yeah. to? Oh, that's cool. We've even got the sizes, seven yeah, ounce jar. Gravy terrine stand. Nice, that's yeah. gonna come in a lot Round of Round casserole covered vegetable dish, oblong covered dish, divided apparently. So two sections, good for veg and stuff. Cotswold plate decorated, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight big plates. How many have you got there? Four side plates. Seven. Three. They're the same one, different they? sizes. Oh, yeah. Three, so we've got four and three, and then how many did you say? Like eight of these. Nothing else no. buried under there? No. Hmm. What does it say on the bottom? It's still, oh, I've never seen a stamp oh. like that before. So I reckon this is a good lot. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I mean, from what we know, like you said about the big ones, uh, just taking a stab could probably get 20 quid for the big yeah, maybe casserole more. dishes. Maybe more, but minimum. So we maybe we've got 20, 40, 60 there. Um, the cup's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a mug. Yeah. I think. The mug. But the good thing about having one mug is people sometimes just want to replace one mug yeah. they don't want to buy four we'd be tempted if there was four of these to put four together and that can slow things down prima six ounce apparently um yeah so i think maybe i think there's some profit there individual covered soup that's what those four are yeah i mean them to them on their own could be 20 or 30 quid wouldn't they yeah could be more i know cool okay. so yeah i look forward to researching that and look out again for those in a sold video sometime in the next few months when we get around to listing it yeah and then should i do this one down here yeah let me move these out the way
All right, next up was something that I asked Simon to bid on for me. It's a box containing a picture frame, a wicker picnic basket and key hooks. Now, we won this for £4 plus 84p. And I, I didn't know, they hadn't given me any indication on any of this stuff, how much she wanted me to bid. So I could have possibly put an auto bid on this or maybe, no, I think I bid on this bid on this one live. So in there we have an accessories plaque. Didn't want this, it's just part of the deal. That'll go to the car boot sale. Yes, let's put it in the car boot box. Yes. In addition, we also, oh, this could be good because we've got ties for sale. Hold on. Is this for ties? So that can go to the car boot. With the ties? Yeah. There's the tie box. In accessories. No idea. This one. Yes, this one. We also not sure what you do with this. Is this a very small ladder? <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know. Oh it's decoration. Maybe, but again, car boot sale. We can go with our other hanging thing. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, picture frame. I think that'll go to the tip. I think that's the could, recycling centre. That can go to the car boot. Well, okay. We'll just fit, put it in. <laughs> in here we also have some vintage laura ashley like a what we used to call a freeze so like a border that like oh. wallpaper didn't know that was in there so i will probably list that well list that on ebay and cross list to etsy uh, so remember Ooh. we paid four pound for this so it's like three things we've put in the tub for the car boot there's that. Do you reckon it's from 05? Or did it, do you reckon it's older? It says 15, made in the UK and it's reference is 150805. Oh, I don't know. Batch number though. And then what I actually wanted was this. This came up as a picnic basket, but it's actually a wicker stair storage <laughs> is that basket. that what it said on there? Yeah. So we, I bought one of these from a charity shop a few years ago, sold it straight away on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah for about 12 quid and that's probably what I plan on, do, plan on doing with that one. And then we've also got some packaging which always comes in handy for breakables. Uh, should we do this one next? We've oh, got this one. Okay. Yeah. Or this? Yeah. Do you want to pull it through? Now you bid on this one. This is a cased cutlery set. You paid eight pound plus one sixty eight premium. Yeah, and it was just going for nothing, and I just thought, Ooh. you know, all you get is one picture. Oh, it was someone's wedding gift. With our love and every good wish for the future, John and Joyce. This wedding gift brings wishes to hope that when you use it, it gives you as much pleasure as when we came to choose it. So it's um, that's sweet, isn't it? James Riles of Sheffield, makers of fine cutlery for over a century, stainless steel. And there's a little instructions. Is that like how to eat your dinner? Yeah. Let's just show you. I'm trying to hold it open with my head to stop it from um, slamming on my fingers. Well, so what do you think of that? Yeah, like for, what did I say, eight pound, nine pound 68. Find out, won't we? Because some, I don't think on this one so much, but on some of the older um, canteen sets, cutlery sets, sometimes the boxes can go for like just a hundred pound on their own. Yeah, and I'd say if you're buying anything like this, like wood, there's a sticker on there, you're going to store it for a little bit, take the stickers off ASAP because you don't want the glue kind of setting into the wood uh also harder to peel off so yeah just take those off as quick as you can who's listing that snoopy <laughs> <laughs> you are oh, thanks. <laughs> right you wanted to do 
Let's get them. Yeah, so this was a random one. Uh, this was this was me. It was you. Yeah, um, and the reason it piqued my interest was the description. Which says a cage containing paperweights, Port Merion China, jugs, and a large a cage containing paperweights, Port Merion China, jugs, and a large lidded soup tureen. Now, as we sort of said, um, you get one picture. And I could see quite a few items, and obviously the Port Merion kind of piqued my interest. Not the paperweights? Not so much, no, because I knew we were bidding on another paperweight. Spoiler! Well. I've already shown them in the video. <sighs> Uh, yeah. We paid for this lot. We paid sixteen pound ninety four, so it was a hammer price of fourteen, and a premium including VAT of two ninety four. And this is what we got. <laughs> we'll start with this. I we mean, were both like, oh. I, I said to Faye, like, has it got ashes in it? Can you imagine soup in that? That's a lot of soup. That is a big old soup tureen. Um, you need a couple of baguettes with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's got no maker's mark. Um, it's crazing on the bottom, but generally, oh, there's a tiny bit of like chip there. Not a chip, like the glaze or whatever. I mean, it's just an you know, it's, in it's the old, isn't it? Yeah. So it is what it is, but there's that. So we'll have fun with that. I'm guessing I'll be having fun with that. You're not having fun with that, are you? <laughs> no. Shall I maybe I'll make some casserole or something when it's cooler yeah. and serve it to you in that? Get everyone round. <laughs> um, and then we got these plates. I mean, no idea, you know. And as oh, I said, oh, that one's got something on the bottom. It was uh, J and K Bavaria, Western Germany. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you know, West Germany is a sign of age, obviously. Uh, Adler, Adler. Who knows? You know, could still be completely worthless. I mean, this is interesting. You can have your chips and dips on this. You love a chip and dip. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got. I guess it's supposed to have it's probably three more, two more. Hold the other one on. One, two, yeah, I would say. Pearl Pottery, Hanley, England. I mean, it's in quite a state, so we're not holding out too much hope. Is it, or is that the pattern? Mm, mm, maybe, I don't know. I mean, it's all different, isn't it? Mm. Looks, yeah. This is unbranded. And we got these, which I know Faye loves listing stuff like this, so you know, well worth the pick up. <laughs> oh, just to do my edit. <laughs> yeah. There's a paperweight in here. Yeah, uh, it's a football. Danks. It's, yeah. A, it's a football. Yeah, it's trying to. Uh, yeah, it's like, is it? Uh, Danks, that's Dan Denmark, isn't it? No, oh, maybe. 1889, Bolge, Bill. Union, 1889, so some commemorative, the paperweight's not from 1889, some sort of commemorative paperweight. Lovely little trinket dish. That's damaged. Is it? Oh yeah. And it's like metal, isn't it? Yeah, tin or something. Another little Emil Fiori paperweight. You need to get the loop out on that one and see if there's any maker's marks on the canes, because um, St Kilda, uh, paperweights have STK, it's like so tiny you can't often mm. see it with the naked eye. You have to look through a loop. Yeah. So we'll have a look for it's that. Quite a nice paperweight. Quite pleased with that. Well, what's this? Harrison or no Hampton Court Palace, oh. England. That's got to be old, isn't it? Pretty hideous. Some there'll be a Hampton Court fan. They'll want it. Genuine alabaster hand carved in Italy, like jewelry box, cigarettes, or something. Mm. Yeah. A few, like, small signs Americans. of age. Yeah. Vintage sign. The Botanic Garden, Port Merion. And, and this was, this is, you know, what I was hoping it was all going to be Port Merion, obviously not the paperweights or whatever. They've got different marks on the bottom, so different ages. Oh, yeah. One's rhododendron. What's the one in your right hand? My right hand. Which one's this? The rain clawed plum. So plum something. Mm. Uh, so they're quite nice, and I think. I mean, uh, they don't quite. Uh, they're pretty matchy matchy in terms of their size and shape. Uh, there we go. So that lot was fourteen, was it? Did we say? 
$14.94. So $14 plus $2.94. And then this... Oh, oh yes. It also included... <laughs> Go back a bit. Two pokey sticks. Pokey sticks. Uh, pokey. <laughs> So yeah, we've That's got... That's got carvings on it. Oh uh, yeah, Z Zacco Pan... Pan? Zacco Pan? Whatever that says. Um, Is it African? It might be. It's a bit short for me. This one... I don't know if that's real ivory or bone or what. Have no idea. Um, but it's on the handle. I'm well, giving that a test run. That works. <laughs> don't need to sell it for really? spares and repairs. Yeah, I'm so not sure about this one. It's like a zebra. But then it's I just... think it's a zebra. No, this, the stripes. I prefer the handle on the other one. Do you? Much more manageable. Yeah. So we've got those, so I'll um, put those with the golf club. This is He's not rushing up. to list them. Leaning up somewhere. And then he'll be like, what are you going to do with those golf clubs, Faye? Yeah, in about a year's time. Yeah, are Those golf clubs you bought, would you just hurry up and list them? So finally... <laughs> This one, this is I, I, this is one of the ones I brought to your attention, wasn't it? It was. Let's see if I can slide that. Oh, it's so close. I'll be along in a minute. You okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, now this is the one I brought to Simon's attention. It's a cage containing a large quantity of paperweights. We paid £45 plus a premium including VAT of £9.46. And there are... 21 paperweights in here. One's going to the car boot straight away. What did we say? How much? 40, uh, 45 plus 9.46. So exactly the same as a Denby. So two, two pound. Yeah. How many did you just count? 21. 21. Okay, so two pound a nine, pretty much. That's going to the car boot. Lovely. Keep calm and carry on. We noticed this one, the biggest one, was damaged. So it's got like, it's been dropped, isn't it? Uh, see it there. That can go to the car boot. It's a well. shame, yeah. Because someone might just position it so they don't see that. Bit. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If you have it on your desk, that's like that, you're never going to see it. No. So that's two to the car boot, and then we've got this one, Michael A. Cairns. Okay. It's resin and it's like a leaf or something. Is that a car boot job? Yeah, I think so. Chroma, the old forge. And then we've got a number of Caithness in here. Um, this one is Caithness. This is called Ribbon or Ribbons. Can't make that out exactly, but they do. They name their series. So this is um, this isn't a limited edition or anything. Because if it is, it'd have a number engraved on the bottom. So that's Caithness Ribbons. Whoa! Don't put things in the car boot pile. Whoa, <laughs> we've got another case nest here. I can, I'm quite good at spotting case nest now. This one's called Harm, Harmonics, it's very pretty. And this one is case nest fountain. Nice. So, if there's any scratched or damaged, we'll put them to the car boot, yeah, and then we'll just assign the unit price to the ones that we keep. This one is Galaxy. This is engraved on the bottom. Uh, this could be a loop job. Galaxy. Mm. Always oh, my granddad used to say Galaxy. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. I need to look into that. Good condition though. This is a. Um, it looks nice. I mean, I can, you can see why it's called Galaxy. Mm. This is unbranded. So a lot of the unbranded ones do are mass produced in China um, and they can be copies of sort of Caithness and the more popular brands. They can still sell. Well, they, oh, they do they? sell because it's, it's a matter of taste and, and the colour. There's loads of paperweight collectors mm. out there. This one... <gasps> nearly put it in there. Wrong hasn't part. got a maker's mark, but that's quite cute. Yeah. But it's quite sort of... Um, scuffed on top. Yeah, so maybe that can go in the car. Oh, hang on, it's coming off. I think Is it was it? a label, yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Look at it now. Okay, perfect. This is another sort of mass produced from China. You see these ones a lot with like almost like a firework inside mm. with like controlled bubbles. Um, that cleans up though. What I might do is take them to the car boot, the ones that are just unbranded, see how I get on, and then list them when I get back if they don't sell. Okay, it's this quite nice, one. 
uh, home something 1960. 1960. Now, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Home guard by appointment to His Majesty the King of Denmark. Not had one of those before. It's got, that has got a scratch on it. Well, I look, I'm going to keep holding that Well, we're we putting it. Oh, okay. Keeping yeah. that one. Yeah. This one's a car boot job purely well yeah i've had ones like this before uh, again this is like the firework style mm. what do you think you'll ask for them just see see what people are thinking three, three or four quid. pounds yeah. this one's caithness moon crystal pretty colors mm. i keep that one this is another example of like the firework style you know that's what i call them and it's unbranded This one is as light as a feather that I've got in my hand. Must be. Uh, what are you saying for this? Copy. This is resin, I think. This is oh, yeah. Hafford Grange paperweight from 2001, made in Great Britain. Vintage. It's got dried flowers in it. Uh, I'll keep hold of that one and look into it. Then we've got another case nest. This is called Twirl. Yeah. This is Art Crystal Bohemia. I don't know who makes that, if the company's called Art Crystal or what. Not familiar with that, so I'll look into that one. Then we have this one. Nothing written on the bottom. This sort of plastic on the, the bottom. on the outside. Yeah. yeah, it's painted. That will go to the car boot. Look, it reminds me of something. Is it like some sort of macaron or... Those, those things with Japanese rice crackers. There's puffy nuts. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, this one is unbranded. There could be something inside, not sure. Have no idea, so I need to look into that one. That's tiny. It's like woven inside. Oh, wow, yeah. Quite clever. Yeah. Then we have Made in Scotland. So this could be um, St Kilda. It could be... Uh, ah, what's that? Could be something written Ooh, in yes. there. Now, can I get it on the camera? So, yes, it is. So, on the which side? Got the loop out, and hopefully, it is. Oh, yeah. So, that is a St Kilda. It's um, not necessarily worth loads. I mean, in the middle of that one, possibly. Right in the centre. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. What because what you can see is the S and the K, it's very hard to make out the T. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can see that. That's even smaller, it's right in the middle. You'll never see it, it's inside the dark part, right in the middle. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen to look into to sell, um, online, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to take to the car boot. Uh, one of which will definitely be going to a charity shop if it doesn't sell at the car boot. The others, if they don't sell, I will look into listing them um, mm. online. Yeah, so, we're, so we've got these ones for sort of under £4 each yeah. if we're allocating all the price to that. So let us know how you think we did. How do you think we did? I think we did okay. I mean, I can't remember. There was 30... No, it was about 25 lots that I wanted you to look at for me. And I, we missed a few because you forgot um that they'd already done they're already gone um there was you one were still in the house at that time by the yeah way. <laughs> there was one i really wanted but it went for too much money um and then the rest i've forgotten about already so at the time you sort of feel like you really want them and then like probably the same day i'd have forgotten what they were yeah yeah no i think i think we've done i think we've done okay let us know what you think in the comments how did we do if you've got any knowledge of any of the ceramics that we've shown you the glass um, please let us know as well, we'd be really interested. Uh, do you go to auctions? If you do, do you go and bid on the day? Do you pre go on the preview days and put a paper bid in? Would you do it online? Uh, how do you like to, uh, to get your stuff from auction? Uh, if you haven't been to an auction, let us know why, because we were reselling for a long, long time before we'd ever been to an auction, weren't we? And we felt quite, I mean, I say a long, long time, it was, it was a couple of years, and we felt quite intimidated about the process, but, um, we found out that actually we were we were kind of wrong. Yeah, we were um, wrong. It's a lot of fun. 
Um, so if you haven't been to an auction and you've got any questions, pop them in the comments, message us on Instagram. If you know anything about uh, walking sticks, like vintage walking sticks, then please let us know because we're really clueless. There was a uh, lot of corkscrews uh, that I was trying to win. Um, and there's uh, quite a well-known reseller who's well into corkscrews and I wondered whether I was bidding. But yeah, it just went, went out of reach for me. Uh, I hadn't viewed them. I, even if I'd have viewed them, it would have meant nothing to me anyway other than the videos I've watched. Anyway, I think that's enough for yeah. us for this video. Got stuff to do. But yeah, you got golf clubs to lift. Yeah, look out for our next videos. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can tell us why. It's absolutely fine. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.